What did y'all spoil? P1 back in here again. Welcome to another GTA 6 video, guys. Today we got some information to give y'all. But make sure, guys, to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, turn your bells on, man, because we need y'all here right now. But we're trying to hit the 21K, and we're almost there to hit that 22K. So make sure y'all dig into what we got. So now for some information, guys. Get ready, put your seatbelt on, because this is about to be a, a scary ride, man. So let's go, let's go ahead and start this, man. So recently, We've seen that there was kind of a hope that GTA 6 might be doing some edging towards, you know, an announcement soon. But now Rockstar owner, you know, Take Two said they had 93 games in development over the next five years. And it's kind of, kind of crazy to know that we still haven't had information, but it's there already, you know. In between those games, there's GTA 6 Summer Runner, but the most important thing, it's there. But... You know, it's kind of assuming the most optimistic rumors that could not be true, or should I say true, right? So the game, they said, is half done. The story mode's already story mode's already complete, and you know, it, it just it's got to mean something. It's probably at least one, at least a year later or two. Not sure. All right, but therefore, almost certain that next gen, of course, only right. I mean. With the whole generation without a new Grand Theft Auto, despite that, there's been like three, what is it, three places in two eras? Man, but those PS3s, man, jeez, just talking about it, it's kind of crazy just hearing it. Those things got extinct already, by the way, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, yo. The main reasons for this game is in general, it now takes longer to make the huge success for like GTA 5. It means that it's still in the charts releasing sequels that could, you know, end up making Rockstar less money in the future, you know what I'm saying? But for short term, especially GTA Online is such a huge cash cow that it's releasing a new game and, you know, it kind of, it's, it's, it's worth that starting from scratch and some at worst, a game that ends up being not as popular kind of would suck. But a problem could be like GT6 coming out as it's not just one game, but two. The lacks of story DLC for GT5 makes it clear that Rockstar wouldn't want to see a single player side as being kind of a profitable of important like GT Online. And that puts a lot of things in questions whether there'd be more things in GTA 6. But let's be kind of crazy about this and say that something called GTA 6 that single player or co-op kind of a traditional thing, you know what I'm saying? But it'll sell like a gang of money. And whatever, you know what I'm saying? But what about GTA Online? We could see like a GTA 2 Online or something like that. But everyone's wanting a story mode and not online, you know what I'm saying? And it's just not guaranteed that we'll get it all. But this world map, a huge map is what we're asking, guys. We need that map, you know what I'm saying? We got to see how it looks like. At least give us a hint or something like that. But we could see something in the future, I'm not sure. But if it's an existing GTA Online map that we already have, for, you know, GT5, then we could see something a little bigger than that. But, you know, that we're getting that, obviously, on next-gen only. So, you know how that is going to take, how huge it's going to be for us. And, hey, man, I got to get myself in that GTA RP, like, ASAP. Like, no joke. We need Vice City or Liberty City or on both, you know, something to travel about, you know what I'm saying? I'm I need that. Y'all need that, you know what I'm saying? But here, guys, we do have some image leaks and debunks. Is this GTA 6, guys, or is this a beta? What? You know, I, I've been thinking about what that was. You know, when people get so imaginative with the things they make, thinking this is the next GTA stuff. But here's another one right here, guys, that somebody had posted. I'm like, what? What is this? Is this some kind of thing that has to do with the voice actor, George Consejo? Like, what's up with this? Is this like some kind of GTA 6 thing that people going so far to like searching the deepest things ever, man. And then we got this one too as well. That some sources say that GTA 6 will be released in 2019, but most of them are inclined by 2020. As for GTA 7, people are searching GTA 7. What? Yo, people are crazy. I don't know where they get those little things in their head, man. The low IQs or something like that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm just giving you guys facts, man. Real stuff here. That it's just kind of a little crazy, man. You know? 
But it is what it is, man. We're kind of hoping to hear a couple more things later in the future, man. Just, we just got to be patient. Stay low key, do what we do best, you know what I'm saying? But also, gotta make sure you do subscribe for future GTA updates. But the latest stuff, you know, GTA 5. Hopefully, we got some DLCs coming here in the future. We just gotta stay tuned. Stay, you know, just keep your eyes open for anything that's coming. For any questions, guys, make sure y'all put it down in the comments. I'd love to hear anything GTA related. And, um, you know, just stay cool. Anyways, support P1. Signing out.